Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We are still in the Room of Requirement. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. I need it, actually, because I have a piece of it unidentified. Gear. Mysterious corduroy robe. You'll find plenty. And it's got uh I don't really like the way it looks, but it's not horrible, I guess. I mean, I could just, you know, clothing that needs to be identified. Up, but... The desk will be an invaluable resource. It's not bad, actually. I kind of like it. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. 
You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay, so... Put you there now. Potions. So this just is how it looks. Botanical, eclectic, gothic. Let's do eclectic. This is really cool. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Assume you get more space. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. 
But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defender, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Might Very well. well. Learn it First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the Moonstone you requested, like Professor. I have a bunch of it. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? You can even put it underneath, it's interesting. Man, it's so hard to like... Interesting you can make it like really small. So you just like just trying to clear the objective. I can just get rid of all the stuff. All right, wall decoration. 
decorations. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. This is a lot of, uh... Just aim your wand. Conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Pretty cool. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Cool moonlit, something natural and earthy. Natural I like and earthy. I the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. 
The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Now what's down here? space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Excellent. this I just want to get some stuff set up here so that I can...
literally a hole. So that leads right out. I'm gonna assume it would get bigger. Okay. <clears throat> I wanna go do that, because I wanna go. I want I wanna learn as many spells as possible. So that I have Lots of stuff to use. <clears throat> All right, there's gotta. Be, I gotta get rid of these like weird tutorial messages that are popping up. It's driving me nuts. keeps telling me that and I, like, I'm just like I'm good like I don't need you to keep telling me that it's really kind of annoying to go do this. Because I can't do that yet anyway because I have to complete these assignments. Here I come. So let's activate that. That's a demanding delivery. I don't have a whole lot of time here, so we'll see if we can get this done. Hello. 
Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? I don't have any money. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Seriously, why are you telling me that? Stop telling me that. Is it telling me that because I have something that's better? I don't. Like, I'm aware. Stop telling me that. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately I Fatima has taken Can to I turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality <coughs> of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Rebellion. far away is this? Holy hell, that's far. Have I ever even been down that way? Oh my god, that's so far away. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this in this episode, but we'll try, I guess. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I don't have a broom either. I really am kind of mad at myself. So. those potion recipes. Hey, look, it's Hogsmeade. Revelio. Or Hogsmeade Station. No, I swear I won't be wasting your time. And I'm grateful for the opportunity, ever so. Can I go in? No. <coughs> I should investigate. I should follow the path that I'm supposed to follow. I do wish I had a broom, because that would make 
this much easier. I mean, maybe I can. I should have went to the broom store. Right. <coughs> it's kind of dumb of me not to. Because this is going to be... This is going to take forever. Like, I don't think I'm going to make it there <laughs> in time. Yeah, let's... Uh... I need to see if I can get a broom. Where is it? See if I can get a broom. I don't think I'm gonna have enough money because I spent all my money. But sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Ah, new face! Wonderful. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Weeks. Is it? Unless the game just gives you a broom, maybe it Welcome does. Welcome to Spinwitches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. <coughs> Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Oh, damn. Nice doing business with you. I mean, I don't really want to sell that because it's... I gotta find somebody Thanks to get for some stopping money. by. Hope to see you again. Revelio. Man, I'm so mad at myself for wasting money on those potion recipes. I didn't realize they were so expensive. I was like, oh, I have all this money. Hogs no big deal, I'll just come. buy all these. But they were like a thousand dollars. Or a thousand coins, whatever. A thousand galleons. Let's run over here and do this uh, treasure area. I might be able to find something good. soon. Was that it? 
Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. So that gives me more inventory space, I think. No. I think there's a requirement for that. I don't know, I'm real confused. This looks intriguing. That's weird. Rebellio. That's it. Nothing else. That's it. This feels like very, uh, there are more Merlin trials. I just want to do a little bit more stuff. Um, I need to get a brood. There's no way I'm going all that way without a brood. Like, that's so far. Revelio.
I know what that means. Merlin trial. Incendio! <laughs> Rebellion. Incendio. Some there, some there. Uh, there's one there. Incendio. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? I'll just see what this guy has and then... Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock. And I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now... For someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye, let me know if you see something you like. What do you have for sale? See if there's something you need. Means it's cheap. Pleased to see Arn has his belongings back. Ranrock and his loyalists will think twice before trying that again. That's been a pleasure. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to end the episode, but. I'm gonna leave that on, I think it's funny. <clears throat> See if there's something you need. I shall hope to do business with you. I mean, I'll get 600 coins plenty. pretty quickly, so. It's alright. We're just gonna end. Revelio. and i will catch you in the next episode if you liked it leave a like if you'd like to subscribe please do i appreciate it and i will catch you in the next episode have a good one